Well, the man accused of killing 32-year-old Jordan Morgan in her home last February back in court today. The judge setting a trial date for Shannon Gilday. ABC 36's Justin Walker was in Madison County and joins us now with more. Justin. That trial has been set for May 5th, 2025. And today, Jordan's father, Wesley Morgan, spoke to reporters saying his family continues to feel the impacts of the loss of his daughter. He says he's angered by the speed of how the case is moving. We're having a very difficult time with the loss of Jordan. An emotional Wesley Morgan says his family still has nightmares about what happened last February. Police say Shannon Gilday broke into Morgan's home where he shot and killed 32 year old Jordan Morgan. You got to understand that we have not stayed in our house since the night that he killed Jordan and shot me and shot Sydney. In January, Gilday's attorney Tom Griffiths filed two motions, one for improved living conditions and one for visitation rights for Gilday's mother. Griffith says he was concerned for Gilday's declining mental health. The judge overruled those motions for lack of evidence. The judge um, asked us to put evidence um, on the record before she would have a hearing on that because that's an extraordinary hearing. That's not something that normally happens. So we're still gathering that evidence. The judge also ordered Gilday undergo testing at the Kentucky Correctional Psychiatric Center. Griffiths telling ABC 36 that could take months because of a backlog. Griffiths later telling the Madison County judge he didn't think Gilday's case should go to trial. We know um, everything about this case that a jury would need to determine we can determine and we can explain to the court and the Commonwealth and we should all be on the same page. So in a case like this, we don't need to have the jury come in. Wesley, Jordan's father, disagrees. The Constitution says spe uh, a speedy trial. We have lost all semblance to the, to the Constitution as it comes to, to trying people for crimes. Now, Gil Day is due back in court in May for another pretrial conference. For now, Justin Walker, ABC 36, on your side.